Hello, my name is Paul Micarelli, and I'd like to express my gratitude for you taking the time to watch this video. The Chakra Ascension series was a creative exercise to combine many different ideas into one project. It's a set of 3D images and text in which I've tried to pack as much meaning as possible about mind, body, spirit, the universe, and the human experience into a series of simple yet interesting images. Each individual image has only limited significance by itself. The overall continuum of images represents the process of working through the many stages of life, both on the level of the individual and of human society in general. The theme used to name the images of this series is the ancient system of chakras. In this metaphysical system, various places in the body, from the base of the spine to the top of the head, are visualized in order to store and transform energy within the body. These chakra energy centers have some basis in anatomy, with most being located at the site of major nerve bundles. However, they are highly conceptual, used to unlock the power of mind and imagination. Since I admittedly have limited working knowledge of chakra activation within the physical body, I've concentrated on the metaphorical aspects of these ascending energy levels. Each chakra is associated with a color, element, and other qualities that change as you ascend through the higher stages. The progression through the chakras can correspond to any number of things, such as the color spectrum, spiritual ascension, physical evolution, the history and future of mankind, vibration and frequency, levels of personal wisdom, and many other spiritual and conceptual ideas. In these pictures, the level of each chakra also relates to the height of the observer in each image as he rises through the atmosphere and beyond. Our point of view relative to the observer does not shift, only the position and circumstances surrounding the observer change. As you travel with the observer through these environments, try to assimilate the qualities and appearances of each stage to help see a deeper perception of life. I will provide my thoughts on each image and how they relate to the overall Ascension series. Like everything we're told, though, it is up to you to find any personal meaning that can be drawn from them. Keep these things in mind as you travel inwards and upwards along this visual journey. I hope you find this series thought-provoking and maybe even enlightening. Thank you for experiencing and contemplating the Chakra Ascension series. This image represents the first level of ascension, the root chakra, Muladhara. The color associated with this chakra is red, and the element is earth. This energy center is located at the base of the spine. In this image, we see the representation of this chakra, the first stage of spiritual evolution. Muladhara is characterized by burning, raw emotion, such as sexual impulse, anger, and fear. These instincts, which are the basis for our survival, can also lead to much of the suffering we feel in life. The red hot lava eating away at the solid rock shows how these powerful emotions can dissolve away solid reasoning if left unchecked. However, the lava also is creating new formations at the same time, so these feelings can ultimately be a foundation for learning. If we can transform them from destructive energies into a way to understand the mind and our control over it. As the root chakra, this level also represents the birth and creation of dynamic energy through the formation of the earth. Here, we see our primordial planet, which has all the necessary ingredients to eventually create human life, but is currently too volatile to maintain it. Likewise, someone who dwells in this mental state cannot follow a productive spiritual path despite the potential for change. Only when these passions are cooled and solidified into a stable and balanced emotional life can this stage really be a foundation to advance to a higher plane of thought. The close proximity of the observer to the Earth's surface illustrates the idea of this stage as a grounding experience. This is the level where we become familiar with the processes that make us alive and vital. 
although refusing to rise any higher will eventually lead to being consumed. We are intimately connected with this planet and also with our primal emotions. Our attachment to them makes us human, but ultimately they must be transcended for the individual to evolve and for the human race to continue into the future. The next stage is the second sacral chakra, Svadhasthana. This image represents the second level of ascension, the sacral chakra, Svadhasthana. The color associated with this chakra is orange, and its element is the primary substance of life, water. Svadhasthana is the seed of life, governing sexual reproduction and creative energy. This is a result of energy rising up from the molten, swirling unity of the root chakra experience and separating into the duality that defines the human mind and society. This is the level where we divide reality into right or wrong, beauty or ugliness, this or that, me or them. In this image, we see the water element associated with the chakra emerging from the earth. Now that the earth is cooled, the primal lava eruptions have changed into more stable materials and forms that surround the observer. The concept of polarity gives rise to the emotional characteristics of this stage, relationships, sexuality, and pleasure. These feelings occur when a recognition of the self and also a sense of the other are present. The mountains and deep waters are representations of these complex emotional landscapes. The water element can also be understood as the vast subconscious that rules our dreams and subtly influences our waking life. It is at this stage that many of our hang-ups or inhibitions concerning these natural feelings manifest themselves. When this chakra is properly integrated, one learns to accept change like water that conforms to any surface. Life becomes fluid, graceful, and full of deep emotional meaning. Like water, a person who has mastered this level can passively adapt to his surroundings, but also has the power to alter the world around him as flowing water carves the hardest rock into beautiful formations. The feminine aspect of the self is symbolized in the Svadhasthana chakra by the crescent moon, the idea of change in time has been influenced by the glowing moon ever since we were creatures dwelling in the tidal pools between land and sea, slowly making the transition from one medium to another. Similarly, mastering this energy level and adapting to the never-ending flux of the universe allows you to make the transition into higher stages of spiritual evolution. The next stage is the third navel chakra, Manapura. This image represents the third level of ascension, the navel chakra, Manapura. The color associated with this chakra is yellow, and its element is fire. The fire quality of Manapura radiates warmth and light energy. The attributes of this energy level relate to the intellect, personal power, and transformation. Power is created at this stage by fusing the polarities formed in the previous stages and using all of the knowledge gained from the senses and emotions of the dualistic lower levels. In terms of human history, this level can be seen as a nostalgic impression of the mystical age that existed before remembered time, in which such magnificent creations as the pyramids, Stonehenge, and other ancient structures showed a level of sophistication that baffles us, even today. The pyramids, with their polished limestone faces and gold capstones, represent wisdom combining the perceived duality of mind and body into a completely realized human being. From the empty desert, man can raise seemingly impossible monuments using his vitality and inner strength. However, care must be taken in order to prevent such powerful feats from distorting the ego's sense of self-importance. The gold capstone atop the pyramid mimics the golden form of the observer on top of his pillar a symbol of humanity as the culmination of the material world in which the four elements converge into the unique phenomenon of this spiritual human being. This idea is the basis of the traditional philosophy of alchemy, generally believed to be concerned with transmuting base elements into gold. However, this was only a partial truth behind the great work 
which was actually the search for the process to purify and elevate the soul. The quest to transform ordinary materials into gold was an analogy for developing a radiant, perfect spirit. To grow past this stage of Manapura Chakra, we must overcome the self-absorbed ego and its insatiable desire for control. After assimilating the wisdom gained from these lower chakras, we can continue on our path of spiritual ascension. The next stage is the fourth heart chakra, Anahata. This image represents the fourth level of ascension, the heart chakra, Anahata. The color associated with this chakra is green, and its element is air. Anahata is the seat of love and compassion. First, one must learn to truly love and accept oneself. Then, unconditional love can be extended to others. Found at the chest level, location of the heart, with its dense nerve center, this chakra is said to be the center of our human nature. This is considered the middle chakra, a bridge where harmony and equilibrium are cultivated by connecting the lower and higher energy levels. Here, the complex emotions of the lower physical chakras are all assimilated through selfless love for other beings. Mindful compassion is the key to sublimating the base emotions into more noble intentions. Then, one can be free to ascend into the higher, more subtle realms of existence. The observer on his pillar rises above the physical world and is enveloped by the clouds and the air element representing the chakra. Looking out onto the ever-changing living world below, the lush green color characterizing the Anahata chakra and all of life can be seen. The head of the observer is emerging from between the mountains of a womb-like earth symbolizing humanity's eventual escape from the confines of this planet. Although still connected to the Earth and the lower realms, the observer is continuing the ascent up through the atmosphere. This symbolizes the process of transcending the physical world to reach the higher planes of consciousness. The next stage is the fifth throat chakra, Ashuda. This image represents the fifth level of ascension, throat chakra, Vishuddha. The color associated with this chakra is blue, and its element is the mystical ether, the energy field that permeates the universe. Vishuddha, located at the throat, is the chakra associated with speech and communication. Through creative self-expression, such as music, art, writing, and speaking, one can develop their own spiritual growth by sharing their wisdom with others. Through the many forms of digital media, people are now able to create and share information, opinions, art, and ideas in ways that are unprecedented. The accelerating increase in connectivity is allowing the human race to rapidly outpace our physical evolution. The power of technology, especially that of computers and the internet, has greatly increased the human race's capacity for communicating and sharing knowledge with one another. At this level, the observer is mentally connected to abstract cybernetic entities through beams of light. The human being is now merging physically and mentally with the machines to greatly enhance the conscious experience. The glowing obelisks represent humanity's technical heritage, continuing from ancient times to the present day. Through focused light beams of information, these obelisks and the observer are connected to a giant technosphere emerging from a higher plane. We are synthesizing our past, present, and future into a new form of consciousness that is timeless and all-encompassing. At this stage of the ascension, the observer is far above the primal energy levels characterized by the lower chakras. The viewpoint is now high up in the atmosphere with clouds obscuring the physical landscape, but it has not fully yet transcended the world below. Despite the many benefits of technological progress, we must also be able to shut off these outward connections for further spiritual advancement. We have to look inward and quiet the mind's desire to constantly communicate in order to experience a higher level of being. The next stage is the sixth chakra, the third eye, Ajna. This image represents the sixth level of ascension, the third eye chakra, 
Ajna. The color associated with this chakra is indigo, and its element is light. Ajna is located at the level of the brow and is associated with the pineal gland in the middle of our brain. This small pine cone shaped organ is light sensitive and is thought to regulate our cycles of sleep and awakening. It is also believed to be the seat of the soul. This stage of spiritual evolution is where insight is developed beyond the information perceived by the senses. When one releases attachment to the physical senses and the emotions of the lower levels, it is possible to become more in tune with the subtle influence of one's intuition. By focusing on the present moment, keeping a clear mind, and focusing inward, one can access the higher planes of consciousness that have been explored by mystics for millennia. At this stage of ascension, the observer has become luminous and ethereal. The body is transparent, and you cannot discern the front from the back. Duality, which is the illusion of separateness, begins to disappear. The imagined boundaries between mind and body, physical and spiritual, outer and inner, self and other, are all beginning to dissolve. The viewpoint is now outside the atmosphere, beyond the confines of the physical world. The observer is merging into the limitless expanse of the starry cosmos. Infinite space surrounds and penetrates the etheric body. Even the grounding pillar that once provided solid support for the observer throughout the ascension process is breaking down into energetic waveforms. The radiance of our closest star, the sun, symbolizes the light that permeates the universe and our inner being as we open up ourselves to the vast, energetic nature of reality. The observer abides in openness and stillness, but the journey is not yet complete. Cultivating a continual peace of mind will finally result in the ultimate manifestation of one's inner vision. As all boundaries are transcended during the next transition of consciousness. The next stage is the final one in the ascension, the seventh crown chakra, Sahasrara. This image represents the seventh level of ascension, the crown chakra, Sahasrara. The color associated with this chakra is violet, and its element is pure consciousness. Sahasrara is located at the crown, or top of the head. It is sometimes called the thousand-petaled lotus, and is considered the chakra of thought and consciousness. Consciousness can be understood as the infinite field of information that permeates the universe, from the smallest particles to the vast cosmos and everything in between. Appearing like a violet flying saucer above the observer's head, the spinning Sahasrara chakra connects upward into the infinite through a beam of coherent light. This is the gateway to cosmic consciousness. At this final stage in our ascension, we realize that what we think of as an individual or person is just a brief process within unimaginably long cycles of time, taking place in a practically infinite expanse of space. When we can deeply recognize these truths, we begin to break down the delusion of seeing ourselves as entities that are separate from the totality of the universe. In this image, the physical body of the observer has further dematerialized and has detached from the grounding pillar below. Not only is it impossible to discern the front of the body from the back, but the figure has become transparent like a diamond that is clear yet indestructible. The observer has begun to merge with the pure white luminosity of the clear light. This is the fundamental, infinite field of energy that underlies all reality. I personally had a near-death experience in which my consciousness was dissolved into the clear light. There was no sight, sound, emotion, or conscious thought of any kind. My mind was abiding in an all-enveloping silence, surrounded by pure white luminosity. Beyond the highest ascension of one's consciousness, there is only this infinite field of energy. The clear light is just a name for the fundamental source from which everything arises from quantum fluctuations to the vast structures of the cosmos. The source can be called the clear light, God, the quantum field, the universe, Brahma, Tao, or any other name. Regardless of what we call it, 
the fundamental oneness of reality remains a self-evident truth. To deeply realize this truth and all the lessons of this series, you must become the observer. Look within yourself while integrating all of these ideas from the various stages. Try to maintain an open mind, deep inner vision, compassion for others, and a love of life. Then, you will be a master of your own ascension into a higher consciousness. After the ascension through all seven chakra levels, one's consciousness transcends the illusory mental constructs that make up our individual and consensus realities. All that remains is Prabhasvara, the clear light. This is the state of being that is beyond words and symbols which cannot be described by conventional language. Instead of a verbal description of this final level, I used an image of the flower of life. This is a sacred geometric symbol created from a pattern of equidistant interlocking circles. It represents the interconnected, infinitely complex nature of the field of energy underlying all aspects of reality. The clear light is the energetic source of all manifestations that create our world. The observer has now completely merged with the pure white luminosity of the clear light, the fundamental infinite field of energy that underlies all of reality. The ascension is now complete. To deeply realize these truths and all the lessons of this series, once again, you must become the observer. Look within yourself and integrate all these ideas to become a master of your own ascension into higher consciousness. Thank you for listening. May this series help you find strength, wisdom, and true inner peace.